Oh, hey y'all, Fatty here. And if you're anything like me, you need to know where to build an arc, but you are tired of these top 10 videos that you can name all the places off the top of your head. The Hidden Lakes, Stonehenge, Bronto Island. This is not a video that's gonna do that, but it's gonna teach you what you need to know to figure out where to build and stay hidden and stay alive. Now my very first piece of advice, just like this intro of the video said, do not build anywhere that you can name. If you can name it and people know where it is off the top of your head, it is not a place to build. Right off the bat, everyone's gonna know where you are because people are gonna look there to build because everyone's seen those top 10 videos. Hey, build here, look how beautiful it is, it's gorgeous, which is cool. Those videos are great, do not get me wrong, but those are for people who want to kind of build in the PVE setting and not too worried about it. What you need to know is where to build to stay hidden and stay alive so you're not gonna get raided every two minutes. So what we're gonna do is right off the bat don't go to those places find anywhere else But those places to build for my second piece of advice What I'm gonna recommend is go and look up a resource map for whatever map you're playing on whether it's the island the center You know if you're on Xbox PS4 and you're waiting for Ragnarok to come out You can still look it up resource maps will tell you exactly where the major resources and explorer notes and different things like that Are on the map so you know where to build First off the bat, you want to be close to those resources, but not so close that other people that might be using those resources are going to see you right off the bat. But you also don't want to have to be traveling across the map for metal, you know, taking and wasting a whole bunch of time while other tribes are getting stronger because they're right next to the resources or something like that. So you want to kind of get a good idea where you can position yourself and kind of highlight a general area on a resource map. So you know where you're going to kind of look to and where you're thinking about building. For my third piece of advice is going back to that resource map, know where the enemy tribes are and where those resources are and their travel paths. So let's give an example. If I'm looking at this resource map here and I know there's a really big tribe here at the Hidden Lake, you know, maybe one here at Carno Island as well, I'm not gonna position myself by either of these, you know, big mountains here or any three of these big mountains here that they're gonna be flying to to get any of those resources. So they're gonna you know, be flying over my base constantly or flying near me. I'm gonna stay away. So if you kind of look over here, there's not a ton of silica pearls right around the area. There is some kind of over to this side, but not heavily dense. So they're gonna kind of be you know, going over to this, this area over here, or possibly over this well more known area over here where silica pearls are. And they're gonna wanna be flying to those paths to get it. So I'm gonna kinda, of, you know, highlight these areas and highlight their travel paths and anybody else that I know about, you know, if there's somebody out here at Bronto Island as well, you know, they're gonna to need to be coming over a lot further to get some of those, you know, end game resources. So you're gonna to wanna to position yourself away from any major tribe, but close enough to those resources you can get them. So you can kinda of see how this is gets kinda of complicated or you know, kinda of gets a little finicky here. But what you wanna do then is kinda of highlight these areas. And figure out where to avoid where it kind of looks good and narrow down these specific areas my next piece of advice is once you find one of these areas that looks safe to build in and that is far enough from enemy pass close enough to the resources that you want to be really close to then the best thing that you can do is just kind of explore on foot you know if you're afraid to lose your gear or something you know put it all in a chest and just start walking around you know most of the time once you get to a little bit further into the game you know, it's flyer dominated. Everyone cares about flyers. You know, it's convenience, it's safety, it gets you there a lot, you know, in a lot more efficient way. But what you kind of miss out is a lot of the hidden areas are these more like densely bushed areas that actually have some flat, great areas to build something that's a little bit smaller, but to build up enough resources that you can actually build up a base that you can withstand and you can kind of hold up later in the game that's a little bit bigger to house more stuff. So what you really want to do is once you kind of do that, just explore, look around. You'll be surprised how many flat areas that are hidden by, you know, rocks you can destroy, but, you know, that will hide you early in the game, you know, long enough so you can build up some turrets and plant species X, really get yourself defended. So really take some time, explore on foot, you know, try to find those kind of hidden crevices. And once you do, you know, slap down a sleeping bag or, you know, build a one by one hut. And that kind of gives me into the final tip here. So once you finally find that most gorgeous spot, you think that is just going to be absolutely the very best, do what I call the forge flyer test. Build a one by one hut, it doesn't have to be anything fancy, and put a forge in there. That's really the only thing that you're going to need to run that emits light overnight for like logging off or something a little bit longer period of a time. So once you find that spot, like I said, build the one by one hut, slap a refining forge in there, 
let it run during the night, take a flyer, fly around, and see how visible it is. I really like to find areas that really have no visibility for a forge overnight. Because, you know, when you're logging off, you don't want to be just waiting around for metal to smell. It takes forever, especially if you're playing on official. So what you want to be able to do is just let it run overnight, you know, save yourself some time and some headache. So you want to be able to do that in a safe manner. You know, anytime I'm playing PvP, when the nighttime comes, I make sure anything that gives off light just shuts down. Unless I already have a whole bunch of turrets and I can really defend myself. So I want you guys to kind of take that, you know, think about that, do that little test. And if that passes that test and you found yourself a great spot to at least get started on PvP. Well, that's my five tips for figuring out where to build on a PvP server. Thanks for watching. If you guys like what I do, don't forget to smash up that thumbs button. If you guys learned something today, don't forget to subscribe, and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.